So I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, first of all, how did you create your local theatrical run before you got full-blown distribution? Because there's a little story there as well. There is, yeah. Um, so... It's kind of crazy because... Uh, I'll just kind of take a step back, talk about um, how we kind of came about having a producer's rep and, and kind of getting repped and then how we kind of led into our, our theatrical run. We ran the 2017 film festival circuit. We had, you know, some success. I used the the movie maker um, top 50 festivals worth sure. the entry fee kind of as like my guide. I think a lot of people do. Mm-hmm. We got into three of those festivals at a, a total of five festivals. So I was, you know, pretty happy with that. We didn't like spend a lot of, we, we didn't do the scattershot approach, you know, as much as, um, as we could have. Mm-hmm. So I was a little bit more focused. We got down to five festivals. I was pretty happy with that. Um, and I had actually been listening to your podcast <laughs> and I heard Ben Yinny, um, mm-hmm. from Gorilla Rep Media yes. come on to your podcast. And he was talking about AFM and a book that he had written about AFM and so during this time where we were submitting to film festivals, I got on Amazon, I got his book, and I read it cover to cover, and I just reached out to him on Twitter. And I was just like, hey, read your book. It was great, great information. You know, kind of thanks for putting that together. Mm-hmm. And then we kind of started talking, and he, and Ben, if you get a lot of <laughs> unsolicited uh, material sent to you after this, oh no, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure Ben won't be happy. Look, Ben was on episode number fifteen of this podcast, so he's one of the very first guests I had on on the podcast. So uh, he's very dear to my heart because of that. Because when I was, you know, just starting out, he was willing to jump on my podcast, and, and uh, I can't tell you that was over three years ago, and he's still. Yeah gets calls all the time <laughs> from that episode which is i'm like yeah. it, which blows my mind because it's like that's from th- three years ago so i just yep. literally talked to him at afm the other day and i'm like dude we gotta get you back on man like you know, we gotta i mean we gotta refresh the situation <laughs> right he'll love it yeah <laughs> yeah so we started talking um i sent him we had a trailer out at that time um i sent him the trailer um, he liked what he saw. I, I went through the process of going to his website. You can submit your your material through his website. So I, I did the full process. There was no shoe in per se. So mm-hmm. he actually watched the film, liked the film, got him on board to be a uh, a producer rep. Um, and then when we were working out the the the, the contract and the deal, um, I had been asked. There's a there's a one screen theater in my hometown, uh, the Sherman theater. Mm -hmm. And it's near and dear to my heart. It's where I grew up going to see movies. It's where I saw all the the most important movies in my life. Uh, and they, you know, were very interested. I talked to the owner and knew the owner my entire life. He owned the theater as long as I had been going to the, the, the theater. So I talked to him and we wanted to do do some screenings there, but I didn't know at what capacity I could promise or, or how we could do that. Um, until I had, you know, our distribution locked in and everything. So when I was, I was talking to Ben, I was like, Hey, I want to do this, you know, run in my hometown. It's really important to me. And, uh, Ben was like, yeah, you can totally hold back theatrical, you know, uh, Goodland's probably not going to land in a lot of theaters or any theaters really, unless we four wall it. So you can hold back theatrical. And I was like, okay, great. So held back theatrical, told him what my plan was, set up a two-week run at the local theater in Goodland. And we were all set to go. Everything was, like, looking good. And our run coincided about a week, within, like, a week of AFM happening in, in 2017. Mm-hmm. So Ben's at AFM. I'm in my hometown preparing for this two-week theatrical run where I'm doing introductions and Q&As after every screening. Um and just kind of getting everything ready. I'm doing like local press, you know, I'm, I'm getting going on like local radio stations mm-hmm. and talking to local paper and, and all that, getting people excited and everybody was excited. And then Ben, Ben calls me and he says, we may have a problem. <laughs> and I said, Oh no. I was like, what is this problem? And he goes, uh, they want 
theatrical rights for our, for our, the distri- the distributor wants uh, wants theatrical rights, and that's like every filmmaker's like, dream dream to hear that. Sure. And I'm a day away from a two week commitment. Uh, of course, my- and I'm and I'm sure everybody's waiting for it. It's going to be a premiere. It's going to be a thing. Yeah, and I I must have just like turned white, you know, on right. the phone with Ben because I was like, this is like. I can't believe this is happening. Sure. And, uh, you know, Ben and I talked it out and, you know, we didn't want to necessarily go back to the distributor and tell them, no, you can't have theatrical rights or, mm-hmm. or that, you know, this is more important. And in the long run, it definitely seems like, you know, signing over the theatrical rights and everything with them, uh, would be, you know, the best thing we could possibly do. Mm-hmm. And, Ultimately, I talked it over with Ben, and I, I thought about it, and I, I slept on it, and I told him that um, essentially I couldn't break the deal with my local theater mm-hmm. because I had already committed to that. And sure. I was excited about it. So many people were excited about it. And the people who helped you make this movie want to see people, it. Yeah, so, right. Absolutely. And so I, I couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. And. It was with a heavy heart that I made that phone call to Ben, and Ben understood. He comes from a small town as well. Mm-hmm. He took that to the distributor, and they said, "No worries, that's okay." <laughs> I, totally. I, I was kind of like in the back of my head, I'm like, "Dude, it's not a big deal." You're like talking about a local theater in Goodland, Kansas, right? I think you're gonna be okay. It's not gonna interfere with your theatrical run of the U.S. I'm, I think. And, 